Hello everyone. So today we're gonna to do some falling. Uh, we're gonna practicing practice some falling. Uh, this is very important, of course, um, crucial for for those of you who want to do wrestling or do wrestling within HEMA. Um, if you already know how to fall, obviously, then um, if I do anything different, then disregard me entirely and do what do what you have been taught. But then remember to keep keep practicing even at home. It's important to keep um, your reflexes for falling fresh uh, in your body and keep practicing. But also for 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 everyone else who does if, whether you do fencing, uh, it's important to fall. We are allowed to do wrestling within uh, our competitions, for instance, or even if you just trip or slip on the street. Um, falling is something that, in my opinion, everyone should know how to do and everyone can benefit from practicing. So indoors like this, uh, in a rather uh, like limited area, there are some limitations, obviously. Uh, first, we don't, well, I have a yoga mat here, but you need something that is a little bit soft to begin with. Um, you can do it on the floor, but when you're starting out, it's nice to have, to have something soft. Um, I'm also just gonna limit this to like falling, like falling backwards and sideways. Uh, falling forwards uh, into a roll, like we we can do needs a bit more space to begin with because it's difficult to judge how far you're gonna get when you start out. Um, so here I would like roll into the wall or to the bookcase or into the window. Uh, so I'm, we're not going to be rolling forwards today. We're going to be falling backwards and sideways. All right. Basically, uh, I have managed to get this camera to just have my face and the mat when I'm standing up. So I'll, I'll be speaking to you here. Starting out falling backwards uh, in the most basic ways. Uh, first point, keep your chin uh, towards your chest. That uh, goes for basically every fall. Uh, it's important to keep your neck from like snapping back and hitting the ground. So keep your chin towards your chest and keep your hands in front of you. Like either kind of you can lock them on your chest, you can keep them in front of you in some way. It doesn't matter. You can learn to use them properly when you fall, but what we want to avoid is this. Because here it's very easy to uh, hurt your wrists, your fingers, your arm, uh, breaking or, or twisting them. So when you fall, don't catch yourself like this. All right, um, falling backwards. Basically, you can start from this, like sitting like this, uh, if you're not used to this. Uh, keep your chin down to your chest, keep your hands in front of you, and we're just gonna Roll up like this. That's the first, that's the most basic. Um, and up. And do it again. Like this. Now I'm keeping my hands on my chest locked here. What you can do with your hands is get them out to the side like this. Breaking the, helping to break the fall that way. Uh, I would recommend waiting with that until you get the basic fall down and you feel comfortable with that and keep your hands kind of in front of you or on your chest to begin with. Um, doing this from standing, what you basically do is you, when you start falling backwards, you basically sit down as close to your um, feet as you can, keep your uh, Keep your chin down and your hands in front of you. And that's basically it. So sit down as close, close to yourself as you can. Keep your hands in front of you. Um, and that's a very basic backwards fall. Um, if you have space and feel, if you want to experiment with this, you can go from this into rolling backwards. You can like do this as fluid motion. I can chill here. 
and then you go uh, and you roll over like that. Um, that's easier to judge how much space you need compared to rolling forwards, for me, anyway. Uh, so it's easier to do indoors. Uh, and there I basically roll over one shoulder, keeping the head to the side. Um, but I'll not, I'm not going to go into that. We'll just do the very basic sit down as close as possible, keep your hands in front, uh, and your shin towards your chest. And you can go up here if you want. All right. Uh, and this is a basic fall backwards. Um, both this and the sideways fall we're going to do now are excellent to work into if you have a workout routine at home. You can do these, or I do these, as part of the warm up. Uh, because you're going to be rolling and then you get up again and you work up a bit of a, uh, a pulse after a while. And that also keeps them falling fresh in your head or in your uh, mind and reflexes so that when you slip or whatever you do, uh, you will fall correctly automatically if you practice this enough. All right, sideways fall. Um, let's do this way. Basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be falling that way now. Um, and I'm going to start this kind of like kicking this, kicking my left leg out here, falling, uh, kind of rolling up along my thigh and the side here. Again, um, one of the most, like, critical things, keep your shin towards your chest and don't catch yourself. Keep your hands either like in front of you or you, you can like Hey, um, use it to dampen your fall as well, uh, but don't catch yourself here. Uh, it will, uh, it will not be good for you. All right, let's do this really slowly. I kick out. I again. Uh, okay. Kick out. I go down. I roll. This was not the best fall ever, but. I'm keeping my shin in so that I don't hit the ground here and I'm keeping my hands close uh, so I don't catch myself. Alright, what's the other side? Uh, I'm not falling like here. Um, if you can keep your legs on the ground while you do this, that's good. Um, it's better than kind of going up as you fall. It dampens your fall more. Uh, so try to do that. I quite often do kind of end up somewhere here. Uh, but try to keep your feet feet like stuck to the ground. More like that. So again, critical points: shin to chest arms in front or potentially out here in front of you um, but do not catch yourself that's the most dangerous thing and that's exactly the same on both sides obviously um, um, yeah that was basically it. When you're getting up again, uh, I'll fall this way. Um, one way to get up is to, uh, I have, I go here, backwards, and I'm up on my feet. Right up. Um, Right, falling backwards, falling sideways. The most critical thing basically for both of them is keeping your shin to your chest and do not catch yourself with your hands. Keep them 
you can lock them in your shirt uh, or sweater if you want, but keep them here or kind of doing this. Uh, but wait with that if, if you're a beginner, I would say, until you feel comfortable falling to begin with. Right, that was it. Thank you very much.